This is Professor Michael Chapman. I'm one of the most experienced IVF doctors in Australia. I believe that an important part that I can contribute is to educate patients in relation to fertility, infertility, and all that that involves. These series of podcasts help to educate you. I hope they are helpful to you. If you wish to know more, however, I'm more than happy to have you contact me via email, which is profmchapman at gmail.com, or make an appointment to see me on 91384222 when we've looked at the australian data for instance something like 15 to 20% of all couples who have one cycle of ivf will not come back for further treatment the cost of it also comes into play but with our state government in new south wales at the moment giving an extra 2 grand the cost is is not really that great per cycle but for some people it's you know four or five thousand dollars is still a substantial amount of money there are lower cost units but they like flying jetstar versus qantas not always on time not necessarily the best service so but you know you pay what you get the the data published this about four years ago on Australian cycles is that if you're the under the age of 38 and you have five embryo transfers five either fresh or frozen transfers you have over 80% chance of ending up with a baby so persistence is paramount to achieving your goal expense may come in the way of said already the psychological cost also comes in the way of carrying on and carrying on obviously if you have poor ivf outcomes i even though you're young and you only get two eggs and they don't fertilize the odds of improving on that in the next cycle are actually pretty small so those sorts of things come into play in in helping make the decision to stop the people i have most concern for are older women women in their 40s where usually they've found their partner late in life and but they've always had the dream of a baby at 40 with IVF in one cycle the chances of a baby are something in the order of 15 to 20%. When you get to 45 it's down to 1%. So a woman comes along at 45 and says I want to try and have a baby and I tell her it's 1% and they will say well I want to give it a try. I might be that 1%. I want in 10 years time to look back and then say I've done my best. The patient goes through the cycle, they get two eggs, they get an embryo and it doesn't succeed. Now, I tell them in advance that an embryo at 45 has a 98% chance of being genetically abnormal, which is why the success rate is so low. But I keep being amazed at the number of ladies who I I see who come back and back and back and even though i'm saying you realize there's no hope or if there is a hope it's it, it's good enough to call it a miracle um it's the looking for the needle in the haystack the egg that's going to produce that 1% chance of success and don't forget that you can access all the previous episodes by going to our website www.theivfjourney.com and select IVF Journey podcast from the navigation menu